Pretty much brings it to us. Good evening, everybody. Once again, Kevin McGahee here behind the microphone and Joe Spina behind the camera to bring you tonight's contest. This is Upper St. Clair Girls Section 4 Basketball. Tonight, the Panthers welcome to our gym the Blackhawks of Bethel Park High School, currently tied atop the Section 4 standings with a 2-0 record. Panthers in there so far at 1-1 one one with a loss to Canada McMack and a victory this past Tuesday over the Moon Tigers. It is... It is Thursday night. <clears throat> it is still December, December 17th, 2015. We're, what, uh, early into the season now. Panthers competing, of course, for that coveted playoff spot. And if you've seen the games already, you know pretty much who the players are. Starting tonight for the Panthers, it's number one, senior Peyton Bayer. Number three, senior Ali Steve. Number 13, sophomore Liv McClellan. Number th uh, 34, senior Hannah Shepard. And number 44, sophomore Kate Groninger. And that is a common thread. Well, seven seniors, four sophomores, only one junior, and one freshman on this year's St. Clair squad. And, of course, it's Bethel Park playing in the dark, the black and the orange going left to right here in the first half. The upper St. Clair Panthers playing in the home whites. Panthers start off with a zone defense, and we'll get the, the players start. It's a three up, and it is down. That by number 32 for Bethel Park. And Shannon Connolly opens up the scoring with a three. Panthers now with it, edging across the timeline into the forecourt. Liv McClellan handles the ball on the far side. Allie Steve with a big knee brace on. I wonder what happened to Allie since I saw her last. Hope that's nothing serious. Peyton Bayer here, number one on the near side. Off to Kate Groninger, and everybody in the team has touched it so far in this first attempt. And from the uh, far side, Peyton Bayer with it, drives into the lane, finds Allie Steve for a long three. Allie! Nothing but net, and the Panthers match that long Bethel Park three. We're all tied up at three, just barely a minute gone here in the first quarter. Number 11 on the near side, Maria Cerro. Back to number 32. That, of course, is Shannon Connolly. Hit that three. 22 out high is Megan Horgan for Bethel Park. Skip pass to the near side. Good defense by Liv McClellan to cut that off. No attempt at a three that time. But there's one from the near side. Number 22 off the rim, no good. Rebound goes to number 34, Christine Kowalczyk. And she got a little bit of a case of happy feet. Traveling violation gives the ball back to the Panthers. Where Ali Steve brings it in. And sophomore Liv McClellan will bring it up across the midcourt stripe. Man-to-man -man defense put on by the Blackhawks. Nice head fake by Kate Gruninger. Goes up for a shot, sort of got a body block and a genuine block. Bethel with it. Little runner up and down, no good. Offensive rebound again by Bethel Park, Christine Kowalczyk. Yet another offensive rebound to put back up and in this time by Justine Mascaro. Panthers need to be doing a little boxing out. It's still early in the contest. We will sort that out, 5-3. Minute and a half, go two minutes and a half gone rather. And a lazy pass by Liv McClellan, no harm done. Megan Horgan got a hand on it. The ball belongs to the Panthers, Liv McClellan into Ali Steve. And a man defense, Ali Steve looking for a hole. Liv McClellan. Peyton Bayer. 
Allie Steve again. She won't shoot from way out there. Not much movement going on underneath. Panthers going to need to set some picks and free somebody up underneath. Hannah Shepard working hard under the bucket. She gets it right back. Oh, was open for a second. Kate Groning with the left hand up and in. Hannah Shepard to Kate Groninger. Tied up at five. Very nicely done. Kate using the body to get free. Hannah Shepard with the nice little pass. On the baseline, outside the three-point arc. That's Shannon Conley. Underneath, knocked away by Kate Groninger, headed for Christine Kowalczyk. She did not get a hand on it. It'll be Bethel Park ball under their own bucket. Four and a half to go, first quarter, all tied up at five. Nice little cut underneath and scoop around. Justine Mascaro, her second bucket, four points. Right off the inbound, Panthers set up in a man-to-man, -man, but you got to sort of cover, uh, set up in his own rather, but you got to sort of have to cover man-to-man -man on that inbounds. Then set up the zone. Kate Groninger. Oh, Hannah Shepard off her hand. Sort of off her left hand behind her. Mascaro again for the layup. She will be the victim of a little body contact by, I think, Hannah Shepard. We'll confirm that. Yep, 34. Hannah Shepard, it is for her first. First team foul, and it will be Justine Mascaro headed to the line, shooting two. First one, net only, good. Substitution for the Panthers, number 22, Sam Smith comes on the floor. Liv McClellan gets a quick break. Also for Bethel Park, number five, Kaylee Klink, now on the floor. Justine Mascaro, second free throw. Also good, good form, good result. Six points now for Justine Mascaro. Panthers now against full court pressure. There it is, it's into Hannah Shepard. Not exactly the ball handler, but she's doing fine getting it in. There we go, back to Ali Steve across the timeline. Panthers successfully beat the press into the forecourt. <laughs> Offensive foul away from the ball called on Sam Smith, her first. Second team foul, and it's always stood up for a three. Right off the rim, no good. Kate Groninger with the rebound for the Panthers. Trailing 9-5. Peyton Bayer now, Hannah Shepard on the free throw line. Sam Smith now, outside the three-point arc. Peyton Bayer. Allie Steve for three, front of the rim, no good. Who's got it? Mascaro down with the rebound for the Blackhawks. Brings it by herself into the forecourt. Looks like a hip check and a beauty. Oh, she stepped on the sideline, on the end line. No hip check, scratch that. Simply out of bounds and with three minutes to go, uh, yeah, three minutes left here, first quarter. Panthers with a chance to cut this lead down to two. Nine, five, Bethel right now. Sam Smith to Ali Steve. Sam drives in the lane, up it goes, and in it goes. Sam Smith with a nice little drive and put up there. Sam Smith, her first two. 9-7, Bethel leads. Five and a half gone, first quarter. On the baseline, Panthers using that zone defense to kind of keep the Bethel out of it. They're gonna have to shoot over it. That one comes up short. Hannah Shepard with a rebound. So far, Justine Mascara, number 44, with a couple of layups for Bethel. But mostly that zone defense for the Panthers is keeping Bethel out of the shooting lanes underneath. Allie Steve. Kate Groninger finds Hannah Shepard in the lane, and off the glass and in. Hannah Shepard banking one home, and we are tied up at nine with 1.45 to go first quarter. Bethel with it now. Outside that zone defense. Maria Serra with it. 
Looking for an opening. And a five second call. Maria Cerro, you need to penetrate every five seconds to get past sort of what's that, that white line on the court, the volleyball line, sort of there. But the violation gives the ball to the Panthers with a minute and a half now. Panthers with a chance to take the lead for the first time here in this first quarter. Nine all, minute and a half to go. Peyton Bayer here in the near side and Oh, a holding foul. Oh, Maddie Groninger on the floor. Sorry, I missed that substitution. It looks like Justine Mascaro. Justina Mascaro with the personal. Holding foul there. Her first, first team foul for the Hawks. Sam Smith underneath finds it. Well, almost does not find Maddie Groninger. Goes overhead. Justina Mascaro with it. Mascaro up and makes the layup. Maddie Groninger will be tagged with the foul, so that could be the old-fashioned one and one, or old-fashioned three-point play, rather. 11-9 Bethel, Mascaro for one. Up and it rattles off, no good. Yeah, uh, Maddie Groninger actually boxed out the Bethel Park uh, rebounder pretty well, but it went off of a white hand out of bounds to Bethel. Under their own basket, 1.13 to go now. 11-9 Hawks. <laughs> Maddie Groninger doing a pretty good job keeping Justina Mascaro out away from the paint. I think that's exactly where we want her. Oh, yeah, travel and call on Shannon Connolly. And checking back in is Liv McClelland for the Panthers. Maddie Groninger hits the bench here with 44 seconds to go. Panthers trail by two, 11-9, with a chance to tie it up here before the end of this first quarter. Sam Smith back to the ball hander, Liv McClelland. Pushes it into the forecourt. For two if it goes, and it does. Kate Groninger, 4-2, four, four points for Kate to lead all Panther scores. And indeed, we are knotted up at 11 with 25 seconds to go first quarter. Justina Mascaro cannot get by that defense. Panthers doing an excellent job keeping the Hawks out of the paint. 11 seconds now, 10 underneath. Mascaro does get it, and another foul. Well, Justina Mascaro found herself wide open, and I think it's going to be Allie Steve with the personal foul. Indeed, it is Allie Steve, and it'll be Mascaro already with 10 points, striding to the line to see if she can complete the three-point play. It is up, and she does with six seconds left. Panthers time for one more quick rush. Five, four, three. Liv McClellan puts it up. Could have been called for a foul. Not called. It uh, rattles off the rim. No good. And at the end of the first quarter, Bethel Park with a slender 14-11 lead, led, of course, by number 44, Justina Mascaro. Three of four from the line, four two-point buckets. That's 11 points. And a three-pointer real early on in the game, like seconds into the game, by number 32, Shannon Connolly. No foul trouble at all for the Blackhawks. Only the one by Justina Mascaro a little early on. For the Panthers, scoring a little more spread out. Number three, the senior Allie Steve had a three-pointer. That's her only three points. Sam Smith, number 22, the sophomore. She's got a bucket for two. Hannah Shepard, number 34, senior, one bucket for two. And Kate Groninger, two buckets for four points. That all adds up to 11. Also four team fouls so far for the Panthers. One each for Allie Steve, Sam Smith, Hannah Shepard, and Maddie Groninger. So 
No real trouble there at all, and it should be Panther ball. As we start this second quarter. Fourteen eleven. It'll be Sam Smith on the inbound. Liv McClelland. Hannah Shepard now. From the baseline for three. Oh, Sam Little Long turns into an air ball. Oh, but Hannah Shepard rips it off the, for the rebound. Three again for Liv McClelland. 14 all. Panthers shooting inside and out tonight. Justina Mascaro to the hoop. Outside the three point arc. Shannon Connolly with it. Rebecca Rodriguez out top. And to the near side, number two. That's Ka Cameron Lack. 4 3. If it goes a little flat, off the rim, no good. Pants on a fast break. Sam Smith with it. Up she does not go. Ball stolen away. Knocked away, rather, by Shannon Connolly. It will be Panther ball under their own bucket. Liv McClellan on the inbound. Finds Hannah Shepard. Back to live outside the three-point arc. Man-to-man -man defense still by Bethel. And there's the good motion under the bucket. Kate Gordinger trying to get through Justina Mascaro, just cannot. Sam Smith now, Peyton Bayer with it. Oh, Sam Smith almost, oh, she did. Peyton Bayer had cut away, and it is a breakaway layup for Cameron Lack. Just too bad, because Sam Smith made a pretty good recovery on the far sideline, and had hoped to get it over to Peyton Bayer. Nobody home went after that ball left her hands. Skip pass back to Kate Gorninger to the hoop. Up she goes for the layup, off the rim, no good. Does not get her own rebound. Rebecca Rodriguez, number 24, with it for Bethel. 5.50 left in the first half. Skip pass, far side, Cameron Lack. Shannon Connolly with it now. Justina Mascaro into the lane. Layup no good off the rim, and it comes down. Peyton Bayer has it, gives it off to Liv McClellan. Quickly into the forecourt. Looking for some help on the baseline. Sam Smith for three. Down it goes, Sam Smith. Five points now for Sam and the Panthers for the first time tonight take the lead at 17-16. Three, three balls drained for the Panthers so far tonight. Up front of the rim, no good. Peyton Bayer with it ahead to Sam Smith. Down the lane, she goes up off the lead. Oh, a little too hard off the glass. And now with just under five minutes to go, Panthers lead 17-16, Bethel with the ball. Justina Mascaro way out front, kind of where you want her. It's a three-point attempt, down it goes. 32, that's Shannon Connolly again, her second three. 30 second, 30 second timeout call by Bethel Pard. That three was their first second point of this quarter. 19-17 the lead now. So far in this quarter, Shannon Connolly with that three and number two, Cameron Lack. She got that breakaway layup not too long ago. That's five this quarter for the Panthers. Six this quarter, two threes. One by Liv McClellan and one by Sam Smith. There's been no change in the personal foul category. So everybody's still playing it relatively clean. Four team fouls for the Panthers. Only one for Bethel. And the Panthers hanging in here with his so far undefeated on the season Bethel squad. Panthers got off to a kind of a shaky start last week with a home loss to Cannon McMillan. 
but took it to the Moon Tigers earlier in the week. Let's see if we can't get our record up to two and one in section. Now we're underway. Panthers again with it in the white, right to left. Liv McClellan with it. Anna Shepard to the hoop. Off the rim, no good. Gets her own re rebound, but stumbles on the other side. Slips and falls, Justina Mascaro with it. Trying to go coast to coast, knocked away by Sam Smith. Little finger roll layup by Megan Horgan, number 22. And Coach Pete Serio not really happy with that change of events. Megan Horgan with her first two is zipping down the lane. I'm thinking he wanted a little more defense out of his uh, charges that time on that zone. Uh, meanwhile, scoring still led by Justina Mascaro. They've held her, Panthers have held her scoreless here through this ha first half of the second quarter. She got all 11 of her points in the first quarter. Shannon Connolly now with six on two threes. Megan Horgan for Bethel, number 22. She's got a two, as does Cameron Lack. That all adds up to 21. Panthers trail by four right now, 21-17. Sam Smith leading all Panther scores with five. She's got a two and a three. Four points for Kate Gruninger. She got all those in the first quarter. And it will be Panther ball. I'm sure they're going to have to go against that full court pressure again. Put on by the Blackhawks. Indeed, Liv McClellan will be bringing that ball in. Into Hannah Shepard. Edging the ball into the zone. Kate Groninger with it. Blocking foul. Yeah, there's a hip check and a beauty. Let's see. I think it's number 22. Yes, indeed. That's Megan Horgan. It'll still be Panther ball at the midcourt line. Ali Steve with it now. Liv McClellan. Halfway through quarter number two. Sam Smith, good spin move. Still cannot shake the defense, though. Number 11, that's Maria Cerro. Bethel playing some tight man-to-man -man defense, but not doing stupid fouls. Oh, a little unfortunate pass. Liv McClellan was looking for Hannah Shepard, did not find her, and Justina Mascaro came away with it. Underneath for the layup. A little under, up and under, Christine Kowalczyk with her first two, and the Panthers suddenly trail by six. Largest lead of the night for the Blackhawks. Kate going her out high. Anna Shepard trying to find some speed. Yeah, that should be a little habeas grabbers on number 11. That is Maria Cerro. Her first, three team fouls now for the Blackhawks. Liv McClellan just behind the timeline. Into the forecourt. Ali Steve chooses not to shoot, but takes it to the bucket up there. Oh, just off the rim, no good. Good effort by Ali Steve with the rebound, of course, by Justina Mascaro trying to do it all herself. Shannon Connolly with it. Looking for space. By in time, Justina Mascaro for three. Front of the rim, no good. Rebounded by Megan Horgan. The offensive rebounding has been pretty strong tonight by the Lady Hawks. Underneath, yeah, the little scoop up and in. Maria Cerro with her first points of the night. 25 17, Panthers had. A 17-16 lead. It's been a 9-0 run by Bethel to stretch this lead to eight right now, 25-18. Peyton Bayer set to check in, check back in for the Panthers. Coach Sirio takes a 30-second timeout. Also looks like the freshman, the lone freshman on the squad, double zero Sarah Price will be coming on the floor for a little action. I imagine trying to clog up that middle. Panthers will try to cover that with some shorter people. Bethel with the taller ladies. And able to get a couple of layups all of a sudden that eluded them in the first quarter. 25-17, eight-point Bethel lead. And that is because Bethel has outscored 
the Panthers 11 to six here in the second quarter. Panthers only have the two threes, one by Liv McClellan, one by Sam Smith. So let's see what Coach Sirio can do to get a little scoring action now. 20, again, 25-17. Panther ball, 2-11 left first half. And a Shepard. Peyton Bayer, oh, but it was off her hands and into the hands of Shannon Connolly. And it'll be Bethel Ball again, under two minutes to go now, first half. Number five in the game, off for three, no good. Hannah Shepard taps it over to Liv McClellan, hustling it into the forecourt. She pulls up for a long two, and in it goes. Liv McClellan with a nice little runner and five points. Panthers back within six, 25, 19, minute and a half to go, first half. Maria Serra gives it off to Shannon Connolly. Connolly gets it back. That zone defense against Sarah Price with some good defense and the rebound. Sarah's in the scorebook. Just a minute left now. Panthers can cut this lead down to four. Liv McClellan with it. Peyton Bayer scoots underneath, finds Ali Steve long and down the lane. Looking for Sarah Price, too many Bethel hands. And it comes out to Shannon Connolly. Into the forecourt, right down the lane she goes, up for the layup and in. The pickup on the coast to coast by Shannon Connolly leads back to eight, 27, 19, 34 seconds left, first half. Tapped away, out of bounds to the near side. Ball stays with the Panthers, but only 18 seconds now to get one final shot off before the end of the half. Substitution for Bethel. Megan Horgan checks back in and gives Justina Mascaro a quick 18-second break. 15 seconds now. Allie Steve with it. Sarah Price down low. Little turnaround up off the glass and in. And freshman Sarah Price in the scorebook. Three seconds, two, one, and up it goes for three. And it's good. Oh, my, at the buzzer. It's Shannon Connolly with point number 11. And it's right now as we hit halftime here at the half. It is at the Lady, Be Lady Hawks of Bethel Park, 30. You're up at St. Clair Panthers, 21. Stay with us, everybody. We'll be right back for the second half. You're watching Upper St. Clair Sports Network. Thanks for staying with us, everybody. That was just a couple of millisecond break for you. Seven minutes for my tender little voice here tonight as I'm under the weather with a little raspiness. But I'm glad you're with us, and we're about to get set for the second half here. But meantime, how about a first-half scoring summary for your Upper St. Clair Panthers and the Bethel Park Lady Hawks? Kevin McGahee, of course, is my name. Joe Spina behind the camera. And so far in the game for your Upper St. Clair Panthers, spread out scoring. Six scores in the book. Liv McClellan, the sophomore, number 13, has got five, a three, and a two. Same for Sam Smith, number 22, the other sophomore who's been playing. Kate Groninger, sophomore, number 44. She's got two buckets for four points. Allie Steve, the senior guard, has a three, two points each for Hannah Shepard and Sarah Price. No foul trouble for the Panthers. No personals called in that second quarter. So far, one each for Allie Steve, Sam Smith, Hannah Shepard, and Maddie Groninger, who didn't get much playing time in that first half. For the Bethel Park Hawks, also six scores in the book, but a little bit way different balance. 11 points each for number 32, Shannon Connolly, and number 42, Justine Mascaro. Mascaro got all of her points, all 11 of them in the first quarter. The Panthers have done a very good job of keeping her away from the bucket in this second quarter. Shannon Connolly got eight of her 11 here in the second. Two points each also for Megan Horgan, number 22. Number 34, Christine Kowalczyk. Number 11, Maria Cerro. And number two, Cameron Lack, or Latch, sorry, L-A-C-H. Only three team fouls, one each for number 11, Maria Cerro. Number 22, Megan Horgan. And number 44, Justine Mascaro. We are set for the second half here. 
And it'll be Maria Serra with the ball. She hoisted on the other side to Justina Mascaro. Shannon Conley now. Panthers again now playing in the whites left to right. Also with that zone defense. In the lane, number 22 with blocked. Oh boy, well. I suppose that could have easily been a charge, but I guess it was not. And it looks like it's on Liv McClellan who took the brunt of that violence. Her first, first team foul, shooting two, Megan Horgan, number 22. First one rim, no good. She'll get a second. Back of the rim, no good. Peyton Bayer snatches the rebound away. Panthers with it across the timeline into the forecourt. Still early third quarter, no scoring yet. Bethel Park still with that tough man-to-man -to -man defense on. Panthers figured it out first quarter. They went into a bit of a scoring drought in the second. Kate Gorninger on the far side. Out to Liv McClellan. Down the lane she goes and knocked away by Shannon Connolly. And let's see what's up here. It'll be Shannon Connolly with the squashing foul or whatever you call that. She jumped on top of poor Liv McClellan. Oh, well, Shannon Connolly, her first. First team foul, and it'll be Panthers in on the inbound. Hannah Shepard now. Just at the three-point arc, hits to the hoop. No foul, and knocked away by Justina Mascaro. To the bucket, up off the glass, and off the rim, no good. Liv McClellan with it. Ali Steve chooses not to shoot the three, goes in for a layup. That one's knocked away, but Mascaro caught four. A little bit of wrist contact. It'll finally be the Panthers at the line for the first time tonight. Allie Steve will be at the line shooting two. First one net only. Four points now for Allie Steve, and she will get the second. Down it goes, good form, good result, two of two from the line. Panthers trail by seven, 30-23, Bethel. Out beyond the three-point arc, Justina Mascaro, and for three, rim no good. Batted out of bounds over the top. By Christine Kowalczyk, no foul call, but it'll be Panther ball. Liv McClellan with a nice left-handed drive to the bucket. Liv with seven to lead all Panthers so far. The Panthers get four of those points back. 30-25 now. Bethel still in the lead. Panthers gnawing away at it. Panther zone keeping Mascara out of there. Very nicely done since that first quarter. Little jumper, well, she gets a jinx it. She got it right back, her first points of the second half. 13 now for Mascaro. Liv McClellan. Holding foul. Shannon Connolly picks up her second. Third team foul now for the Blackhawks. And it'll be Liv McClellan on the, on the inbound under their own basket. Out to Hannah Shepard. Underneath, Kate Groninger with the left hand up off the glass and in. Nice little turn move by Kate Groninger. Six points now for Kate. 32-27, Panthers within five. Shannon Conley now for the drive. No good, Hannah Shepard with it. Liv McClellan, of course, bringing the ball in. 5-10 to go, third quarter. Kate hey, Groning with the left hand to the hoop, up and again, and in it goes. Whoa, the Panthers have come to, to play this third quarter. Kate Groning with the left hand. The foul is on Maria Cerro, her second.
four team fouls now for Bethel, and it'll be Kate Groninger at the line to try to complete the three-point play. She does just that, and that deficit is down to two, 32-30. That'll be a three if it goes, it does for Shannon Connolly. Her fourth three. Bethel Park calls a quick timeout, 30 second timeout, 35-30 now. 14 points for Shannon Connolly, four of them, but 12 of them rather, on four three point bombs. And another two pointer to go with that. 13 points for Justina Mascaro, who just scored her second or first bucket rather since the first quarter. Panthers so far this quarter. Kate Groninger, two buckets and one of one from the line. Liv McClellan with two, and Ali Steve, two of two from the line. Panthers as a team, perfect from the line at three for three for the Bethel Park Blackhawks. Free throw shooting, only three of six for them, and it'll be Panther ball here. Trailing by five, 35-30. Just under three minutes gone, third quarter. Liv McClellan to the bucket again. Oh, but knocked away. Hannah Shepard picks up the reach-in foul, her second, only the second team foul, but it'll be Bethel Ball now where the Panthers could have used those points. And there is a moving pick. You don't see that called very often, but that'll be on number 22, I'm sure. Megan Horgan, now she's got two, four players for the Hawks now with two fouls each. And even more important, it's five team fouls already this half for the Blackhawks. Panthers with the ball again, edging the ball across the timeline. Almost halfway through this third quarter. Kate Groninger up for the layup. Oh, it's off the rim, no good. Good move by Kate. Could have used that backboard. Bethel comes away with it. Shannon Connolly brings it out. At the midcourt line, trying to spread out the Panther offense. Well, what the, the world is going on here? Why the, Pan why the Hawks trying to burn up all this time? What are we going, Carolina four corners here? And for what? Well, this promises to be a quick game if we start sort of end like this. Maybe I'll uh, head down for a walk in Taco and be back in a few minutes. 3.30 to go now, third quarter. That should have been a walk, but it was not called. Mascaro with a layup, with the rebound, no good, left hand up and in. Justina Mascaro. 15 points for Justina. On the phantom travel, not called, 37-30 now. And the Panthers pull it up now. Okay, Hannah Shepard. Oh, Kate Groninger, my bad. 44, not 34. Got to get these eyes in for a tune-up. Knocked away. Maria Cerro has it up and, oh my. Sam Smith didn't foul her quite hard enough, but Maria Cerro. Sam Smith, that is her second personal third team foul, and it'll be a one shot for Maria Cerro. Up and in it goes. Completes the three-point play. Five points on the night for Maria Cerro. Number double zero, Sarah Price, the freshman, checks back in for the Panthers. Liv McClellan, Panthers now trail by 10. Headed down to two not that long ago, but it's been an eight-point run by the Hawks to stretch that lead to 10 at 40-30. Two and a half to go, third quarter. Kate Groninger with it. Sam Smith outside the three-point arc. 
A long, long three by Allie Steep. Hokey smokes. That one brought rain. Swear she shot that one almost from Bethel Park High School and just flat out drained it. Two threes now for Allie to go along with two of two from the line. Eight points for Allie Steve and the Panthers come back within seven now, 40-33. Highest scoring quarter of the match so far, at least for the Panthers, two, four, six, 10 so far this quarter for Bethel Park. 12 for the Panthers. And it will be Bethel Park ball with 2.18 to go. Here in this third quarter. Bethel in the black and orange, bringing it in. Going the full length of the court from right to left. Panther zone set up. Justina Mascara way out here. And here we go again. Bethel Park just draining the clock. I guess this counts for offense where they come from. With a seven point lead. I imagine what they're doing is waiting for us to make a mistake and come up with something just like that. But of course that didn't work. Christina Mascara with the offensive rebound. Shannon Connolly with it. Drag that back foot again. But she does it every time she picks up the ball, but it is not being called tonight. Hard to see on the TV, I know, but she takes that first back step before she starts to dribble with the ball. Maria Serra with it. On the baseline. Oh, an overpass. Sarah Price almost had it, but not quite. Now the Panthers do get it. Justina uh, Mascaro dribbled it right off her foot. Pull up three off the rim, no good. And that'll be Sarah Price called for the over the back foul. Basically trying to punch the ball to another St. Clair player. 40-33, Bethel Park with it. First personal for Sarah Price. Four team fouls for the Panthers, still five for the Hawks. Under a minute to go now, third quarter. They're still with that zone. Bethel still trying to figure it out. Bethel trying to pull the Panthers out of it. So to freeze up some room for the others. The Panthers not having any of it. Christina Mascaro. Shannon Connolly again for three. Rim no good. Sarah Price had it. Christina Mascaro comes down with it. And what's this? I think they're going to tag Sam Smith with that one, but that really, Justina Mascaro lowered her shoulder. She missed the shot, but she will go to the line shooting two. Already three or four from the line tonight. First one, front of the rim, no good. She'll get a second. And checking in for the Panthers now, number 11 is Mira Fontana for Sarah Price. Sarah did some serviceable minutes in there. And she will get more experience. Just hang on, everybody. The second free throw goes up and down. And it's now 16 points in the book for Justina Mascaro. 25 seconds now for the Panthers to create something and commit to this lead. 41 33, eight point Bethel lead. Panthers could use one more bucket here before the third quarter expires. Liv McClellan with it. Shannon Connolly on the defense. Ali Steve does not shoot, pulls up for two, blocked. Yeah, probably not a good idea to challenge Justina Mascaro. Two, one, and that shot goes up and comes up short. And the third quarter ends. A very interesting quarter. Panthers come away with 12 points. And holding the Bethel Park Hawks to their lowest scoring quarter of the night with 11. 41-33 the score at the end of the third quarter here.
For the Lady Blackhawks, Justina Mascara leading all scores with 16. Shannon Connolly with 14. Five for number 11, Maria Cerro. Four players, eh, not exactly foul trouble with two personals each. Maria Cerro, Hannah, or Megan Horgan rather, Shannon Connolly, and Justina Mascaro for your Panthers. Kate Groninger leading all Panther scores with nine. Allie Steve with eight, two threes and two of two from the line. Seven points for Liv McClellan, two twos and a three. Five points for Sam Smith, scoreless in this quarter at least. And two each for Sarah Price and Hannah Shepard. That all adds up to 33. Only real foul trouble for the Panthers is Sam Smith. She just picked up her third with one quarter to go here. I would expect Coach Sirio would not pull her until it was desperation time. And we're all tied up at five. Team fouls each to possession arrow. Right now goes the Panthers' way. But once they bring the ball in to start this quarter, it will be Bethel possession as we head down the stretch. Remember now, Bethel... Our top section four right now with a 2-0 record. Panthers one win and a loss. Trying to keep in the top half of these standings. Yeah, it'll be Panther ball going left to right to start this fourth quarter. Eight minutes left for the Panthers to drag themselves back into this. See if they can bring home a winner. 41-33 Bethel. Anna Shepard with it. Maria Fontana on the far side. Sam Smith indeed is on the floor with three personals. Anna Shepard trying to get some space down low. She does have it finally. And over the back, sure. That's what she did. Maria Cerro was all over Hannah. That's her third now. Six team fouls, that'll put the Panthers in the bonus with the next Bethel Park personal. Anna Shepard. Liv McClellan. To the hoop, up it goes off the glass, off the rim, no good. Came up just short. Panthers with a rebound, or Bethel Park with a rebound. Christine Kovalchek with a rebound. Still 41-33, no scoring so far, th fourth quarter. Down low, Shannon Connolly with it up off the glass and in, and oh my. That'll be Kate Groninger with a grab and foul. Kate's first, but Shannon Connolly. 16 points now for Kate, for Shannon Connolly rather, to tie Justina Mascaro for the lead. Peyton Bayer checks back in, Hannah Shepard out for a quick breather. The lead is 10-43-33. Shannon Connolly, free throw is good. 17 points for Shannon. Peyton Bayer with it down the lane and for three. Oh, Kate Groninger. 12 points for Kate Groninger. Forty-four, thirty-six. Panthers to get that deficit back to eight. Bethel Park pulls it up again, trying to draw that man-to-man -man or the zone defense out. That's the only point of doing what they're trying to do, as well as bring this game to a hasty conclusion. Oh, and the bad pass ends up in Mira Fontana's hands, so that didn't pay off. Liv McClellan with it down the lane with the right hand up and in it goes. Whoa, she's ambidextrous. I did not know that. She's made, been made, making these left-handed layups and makes a right-handed layup through traffic. 44-38, Panthers within six. Another bad pass, but it ends up right in the hands of Shannon Connolly. Too bad. Good defense being played by the Panthers. Kids, if you're watching, when the coach says play hands up defense, that's why. Block. Passing lanes with those hands there. No good at your sides. Put them up and put them to use. It'll be Shannon Connolly now shooting two. First one, rim no good. She's one of two from the line. 17 points. She'll get a second. Yeah, 
That one's flat and good. 18 now for Shannon Connolly. 45, 38, Panthers within seven. Liv McClellan again to the hoop, up off the glass and in save with a left hand this time. Wow, nice work, Liv. And I know that the Bethel Park Blackhawks do not want to give up that seventh personal foul. So Liv's doing the exact right thing. Timeout call, Blackhawks. 45-40, and the Panthers making a game of this. Liv McClellan taking it right down Main Street with both hand, well, either hand, really. Bringing the Panthers back to life here. That's 11 points for Liv McClellan. Second on the team so far, Kate Groninger still leading everybody with 12, including that three we saw just a minute ago. 5.26 to go. The possession arrow is Bethel's way. 45-40, Blackhawks lead, and they have the ball. But let's see if the Panthers can put some defense on here, put the old clamps on. as we bring this game down to the wire. Both teams now, by the way, in the one and one bonus. Panthers just picked up their seventh. First of all, it was a shooting foul, so Bethel got the two shots anyway. But it will be Blackhawk ball now on the inbounds right here to the near side. Shannon Connolly with it. Skip pass, oh, stolen away by Liv McClendon. Good anticipation, good result. Justina Mascaro not able to do anything. Oh, too bad, little reach in by Bethel. Sends the ball off of Liv's knee and out of bounds. Too bad she was on a mission to get to the hoop. Overruled by the off official. I saw it off a knee, but that must have been off a of Bethel Park hand. And it'll be Panther Ball with a chance to bring this down to three or maybe even two with a successful three ball. Lil McClellan on the inbound. Allie Steve out high against Justina Mascaro. Liv McClellan with it. Three minutes gone, fourth quarter. Liv again, uh, sort of a wild shot, a little too far away from the bucket with the left hand rebounded by the Blackhawks quickly into the forecourt. 4.50 to go. Maria Serra with it. She won't shoot from out there. And the Panthers have switched to man-to-man. -to -man. Justina Mascaro with that left-hand turnaround. 18 points for Mascaro. 47-40. The lead's back up to seven. Liv McClellan up for the shot and blocked. Wondered why that wasn't called, and that should be an offensive foul. Let's see. She's apparently not. Once again, Justina Mascaro lowered that shoulder. But it's going to be called a blocking foul. Kate Groninger will get tagged with it. That's her third. Yeah, Liv McClellan's on the bench. She got, she got hit pretty good on the no call a minute ago. I imagine she'll be back in here in just a minute. The free throw up, no good. Panthers with it. Sam Smith outside the three-point arc. Shannon Connolly on the defense. Kate Groninger with it. Sam Smith. Allie Steve to the bucket, up off the glass, a little too hard. Peyton Bayer comes down with it. Possession belongs to, should belong to the Panthers. Yes, it should. On the scoreboard, it shows Bethel, but it should belong to the pa Panthers start of the quarter with it. My mistake, it is Bethel ball. Now the possession arrow is Panthers way. Underneath, Mascaro dribbles it off a foot and a three-second call. Wow, there's something else you don't see very often. 
The three second call gives the ball back to the Panthers, trailing by seven. Three minutes, 40 seconds left to eat into this seven point lead, 47-40. Sam Smith, little turnaround, comes up short, but fouled, and that'll be two shots. Christine Kowalczyk, I think, picks that one up. It'll be her first. But it'll be two shots for Sam Smith, her first trip to the line tonight. First one's up, back of the rim, no good. Sam will get a second. Second one is good. Six points on the night for Sam, one of two from the line. Bethel with it and a six point lead, 47-41. Timeout, Bethel Park, St. Clair now double teaming the ball. Seen about bothering the, the Bethel Park guards. Well, the risk here is that frees up Mascaro and Connolly underneath for some easy stuff. But let's see if the Panthers can get aggressive enough to get a couple of steals, convert that into some quick points, and get this game tied up. 47 41, 319 left. Possession arrow is the Panthers' way if it should ever come to that. And if we have to use fouls, there's two players in foul trouble. Kate Groninger, number 44, she's got three. Sam Smith has three. Nobody else in any danger. Both teams are in the one and one bonus for any free throws or for any more fouls heading down the stretch here until double bonus time sets in. But let us see now what Coach Sirio can do here. Kate Groninger still leading all scores with 12. Liv McClellan, 11. And the Panthers have been a bit of a scoring drought here till Sam Smith came up with that free throw just now. 3.19 to go, and the Panthers needing to collect six points here in a hurry. It'll be Bethel Park ball on the far side, being brought in by Megan Horgan. Panthers in the man-to-man. -man. Oh, Pats almost over Shannon Connolly's head. There's a turnaround. Oh, nicely done by Cade Groninger getting two hands on that ball. And the possession arrow, the Panthers' way. That's exact. You know she's only going one way. Mascaro's going to her left. Everybody knows it. And Cade Groninger figured it out and came away with a steal. Now can the Panthers score? Liv McClellan back in after getting walloped across the nose a little while ago. To the hoop, up off the glass. Oh, a little too hard, too bad. Good attempt by Liv. And it's Maria Cerro with it. Panthers trying to force a little action here. The clock not on our side right now. Knocked away, picked up by Bethel. Back out front, Cerro has it. Justina Mascaro, Christine Kowalczyk now. She's not gonna shoot from out there. Bethel's just burning time. Panthers need to get a hold of this ball somehow. Not really wanting to foul because it's bonus free throws. <laughs> ah. Ticky tack foul, Kate Groninger. Just playing proper defense. Called for the body foul. And it'll be one and one for Justina Mascaro. First one is up and nothing but net. Mascaro will get the second. That's 19 points for Justina Mascaro. 2.16 left. Second one also good. Liv McClellan now. For three. Peyton Bayer comes up just a little bit long. Stina Mascaro with it, take it into herself into the forecourt. Pulls up out back, under two minutes to go now. 49-41, Panthers trail by eight. 
Sam Smith with the reach in foul, and that is number four for Sam and number 10 for the team. So it's double bonus free throw time. Shannon Connolly to the line, shooting two. First one good. 19 points for Shannon. Mira Fontana checks in Peyton Bayer to the bench for the time being 152 left. Twenty points for Connolly, twenty points for Justina Mascaro, and it's 51-41. That lead is back to ten. Largest of the night. Panthers hit that twice and whittled it down both times. Lynn McClellan up for the drive with the left hand. Wow, and the foul called. Justina Mascaro picks up the foul, her third. And Liv McClellan at the line, shooting one for the three-point play attempt. Already 13 points for Liv to lead all Panther scorers. Let's see about this one. A little too hard. Back of the rim, no good. Ray, uh, Mascaro rips off the Bethel rebound. 140 left, 51-43. Oh, second with double team in the ball. Kate Groninger got a good hand on it, but it was tapped right into the Bethel Park bench. Timeout called. Timeout, Upper St. Clair. Liv McClellan came out of her shell this quarter. She had seven points early on to spread through the second and third. Six points alone this quarter. A three for Kate Groninger and one of the and one of two from the line for Sam Smith. That has been the Panthers scoring. That's ten in the quarter. Ten also for Bethel. They're making them all at the free throw line. A bucket by Justina Mascaro, bucket by Shannon Connolly, and one, two, three, four, six of seven from the line for there. So Bethel Park making their free throws down the stretch. Panthers not getting that many. Bethel's been hanging in there at seven and now eight team fouls for quite some time. 51-43. Possession arrow is Bethel's way. And what can Coach Sirio accomplish in the next one minute and 22 seconds? It'll be Shannon Connolly on the inbound for Bethel. Maria Serra with it. Cameron Lack. Holding foul called. A good person probably to send to the line. No free throws on the night for Cameron. Catherine Gollahue had checked into the game. Number five. I missed that substitution. Sorry about that, Catherine. And the first free throw by Cameron Latch is good. 52-43. Cameron Latch for her second. It's also good. Four points on the night for Cameron. 53-43 and 115 left in this contest. Mira Fontana, a skip pass over to Sam Smith, just off her hands, out of bounds to the near side. Bethel gets the ball back with just over a minute left. And the baseline, Bethel in no big hurry to take a shot here, looking to eat time off that clock. Underneath, Mascaro even chooses not to shoot. Connolly with it. Back to Justina Mascaro. 40 seconds left, and the Panthers foul. Allie, Steve. Only her second, but it will put Maria Cerro at the line. Maria, one of one, made her only free throw on the night so far. She will get two. First one, front of the rim, and just edges itself over. 
Six points for Maria Cerro. Second one off the rim, no good. Panthers with it, 54, 43, half a minute to go. Maria Fontana for three, little long. Maria Cerro comes away with the rebound, 25 seconds in the game now. Bethel gets it into the forecourt. Sam Smith with the defense. Not really much sense fouling now, 16-15 now. And that's probably gonna do it. And it does indeed as the Bethel Park Blackhawks come into our gym and take away what was a pretty interesting game actually. Bethel Park wins it 54-43. Bethel Park moves to 3-0 in the section. Panthers at 1-2 with of course a lot more basketball left in this season. We're barely getting started here. Meanwhile, in, this, in the scoring department, Liv McClellan, number 33, led all Panther scores with 13. Number 44, Kate Groninger. She was in there with 12, a three, four twos, and or made her only free throw. Eight for Ali Steve, six for Sam Smith, and two each for Sarah Price and Hannah Shepard. And that pretty well sums it up here on December 17th. Kevin McGahee is my name. Joe Spina behind the camera tonight. We're glad you were with us, everybody. We'll catch you next time on Upper St. Clair Girls Basketball. Thanks for watching the Upper St. Clair Sports Network, everybody, and good night.